guys welcome back to my channel I am back with another video for you guys and for today's video I am gonna be starting the spring sets spring is right around the corner so I thought why not why not get some some spring nails out there so today I'll be doing a really pretty cherry blossom design I am starting off with my practice hand um, I had already applied the tips off camera and then just spraying off the tips and making sure that the knives are nice and straight for my acrylic I am going to be using this really pretty glitter from so me acrylics and applying that to the base of the nail I am going to be creating a an ombre design with this glitter and then I'll be using a milky white up top to create the ombre so applying just a very thin layer of this acrylic on a client you would want to use just a very thin layer like that you're not using too much of your glitter or if you're using a color and then you can just build the thickness of the nail with your clear your clear acrylic because you do want to cap these in clear to not mess up your ombre so again, just applying a very thin layer of this glitter and then after that, I'll go ahead and apply the Milky White up top to create that ombre design. So I'll let you guys watch that process. So going in with that milky white, I believe this is from Nail Supply Glamour. I love this milky white. I think it's the perfect milky white um, and the consistency is great. Um, so here I am just blended that down very gently just to create that perfect ombre look. When you're doing an ombre you want to work with um, kind of more wetter smaller beads like that you can blend that ni very nicely. So I'll go ahead and do this for all of the nails and then I will come back uh, to show you the encapsulation. So, you know, topping it with the clear acrylic. And I know that they look a little crazy at first, but I promise you guys the end design is super cute and everything looks good <laughs> um once everything is nice and filed this the nail just kind of comes together
So just taking a medium sized bead of clear acrylic, I am just gonna go ahead and place that right at the center of the nail, um, kind of where the ombre is. And then just working that product down to go ahead and cover the ombre and also the glitter like that that is all nice and protected for when you go in to file so just doing this for all of the nails i unfortunately did lose some footage um, for some of the steps so um just bear with me i don't know how that happened i must have forgot to press record when i was doing it but um this is just kind of like a little uh, like a little sneak peek on how you would want to cover or encapsulate that nail to protect your design After that's all done and your acrylic is nice and dry, you want to go ahead and file your nails and make sure that that shape is nice and crisp. So as you can see here, I'm just going along the sides, making sure that the sides are nice and straight. Filing under the nail as well to make sure you get rid of any um, jagged edges that the nail might have from your acrylic application. And just squaring off that tip to make sure it's nice and straight. I also like to go over the top of the nail. With my hand file, um, I find that it's easier for me to kind of get rid of any of the um, grooves or any lumps that were left behind from the acrylic application and it kind of helps me smooth out that nail um, as best as I can. Now I am just going in with my e-file and my medium grit 5-in-1 bit and just going over uh, the cuticles, making sure that the cuticles are nice and sealed as well as going over the surface of the nail just to make sure that I do get um, the nail as smooth as possible. Anything that I couldn't get 
with my hand file, I kind of try to do with my e-file. So go again, just going over the surface of the nail very gently. You're not trying to get rid of any product. You're just trying to smooth the nail. Now also with my e-file, I am going to go ahead and buff these nails. I am just using a sanding band, I believe this is a medium grit sanding band, and just going over the surface of the nail to smooth everything out and make sure that um, the nail is nice and um, smooth for the top coat. So that's what I'll be doing here. I do sometimes use um, a hand buffer, but for today's video I said why not. Um, might as well just go ahead and do it with the e-file. Once that is done, I am spraying the hand with some alcohol and just um, wiping the nails along with the hand and getting rid of any dust that I left behind from the filing. Once that's done, we are going to go ahead and get into our design. So for our cherry blossoms, I am starting off with this brown gel polish from Young Nails. I am drying just some some little vines, I guess you could call it, some stems. Um, and that's where our cherry blossom flowers are going to go on. So just randomly drawing some kind of squiggly lines. Um, and I'm doing this for the ring and middle fingers.
All right, and so for our petals, I am using this really pretty nude pink acrylic from Giovanni Hernandez um, acrylic collection. So starting off, I am putting down a very small bead um, of acrylic, definitely on the drier side. When you are creating rose petals um, or like a 3D design, you want to work with a little bit um, more drier beads like that your product isn't running all over the place so you know I'm I place down a little small bead and then I'm just patting it into the shape that I want it to be in and then continuing with that same process so each flower um, has three petals so I'll be doing three petals for each little flower and then just placing them randomly on those little vines uh, you know wherever I see fit as you guys know cherry blossoms they're just very full um like trees so you know the, if you want to have a full nail of cherry blossoms that's totally fine um but i'll let you guys watch this process it's pretty repetitive um i did just film a little bit of it just because i didn't want you guys to get too bored it's the same process for both nails and then i'll be back for the following step Once I was done with that, I did decide that I kind of wanted the flowers to be a little bit more on the pink side or a, a deeper pink. So I grabbed another one of my Sew Me Acrylics. Um, I forget the name of it, but again, I'll leave the link below. Um, and just went over the flowers with a really wet bead of just a teeny, teeny dot of acrylic. And went over those, fl those flowers to kind of give them that deeper pink color that I wanted and voila turned out super super cute once i got done with that um i did decide that i wanted to add some rhinestones in the last minute in the center of the, the little flowers so um, i did go ahead and do that Once you're done with applying the rhinestones, you want to go ahead and top coat 
These nails, with your top coat of preference, I did decide to go with shiny for today's video. But that basically does conclude the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I thought it was a super cute design for the springtime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.